Hey everybody, it's Alexa, and as we wrap up the year and go through our uh, Christmas presents and everything, I decided to do a quick shoe decluttering because I know I'm starting to get more shoes than I have room for. So, um, here are all my shoes pulled out, and I know there are instantly some things that I can get rid of. For example, these are my new slippers that I got for Christmas. So, uh, because these slippers are new, that means these old slippers, which are pretty worn out, can get thrown away. So, that's part of the throwaway pile. Also for the throwaway pile, I have two pairs of really dirty, muddy, running slash work shoes, and these shoes are starting to fall apart, so I will throw these away. Now, looking at my... Uh, chunk glass, I have several pairs of, of sandals of little um, flip-flops. So um, these ones right here are the most comfortable. These are sort of my backup for, um, for going to the gym. But um, I think what I'm going to do is get rid of these. So, um, and I also, these had spark joy, but now I'm ready to um, get rid of these. These I will donate because they're still in okay condition. So I will make a donate pile somewhere or I'll get a bag for it. Now, um, some of these are not going to be as easy. Um, definitely keeping my regular running shoes. So over here is the keep pile, I guess. These are boots that my husband said I can donate, so I'm gonna put these over in the donate pile for the moment. Um, I love these, so I'm gonna put these over here with my tennis shoes. And like I said, I'm keeping these as my remaining pair, and I don't need that many pairs of those. Uh, these are broken, so I'm throwing them away. So that goes in the throwaway pile. What else can go? Um, so these three pairs of beige heels, these, I really love them and they're super comfortable. They are starting to come apart. Will I take them to be repaired or will I replace them? I don't think I'm ready to let these go yet, but they are really fabulously comfortable for gigs. These are um, actual dance shoes. And these also are actual um, professional dance shoes. So those are useful for my job. These are professional type of shoes. Be nice if they were maybe black instead of brown, but these are good for like a business type of meaning where I need to look professional and I can't wear something that's too high or slutty looking, haha. -ha. Um, these are some shoes, I really love them. Sometimes I think it would be nice to go over the straps and give them a new a makeover, um, but they are they cross in front. They're super comfortable. These also are very good gigging shoes. They are very comfortable and they go with a lot of my dresses. Um, I think I'm not ready to give these wedges up, so I'm going to keep those. Same goes with these wedges. So those are both comfortable gigging shoes. These are my art project shoes, and I really still love them. So I made a video on how I made these, so I'm not ready to give those up because those really turned out great. Uh, these also, very important gigging shoes. They are very high. They, people compliment me on them all the time, and they think they're so fabulous, but they are really just Target high heel shoes. Um, these are some really comfortable uh, platform espadrilles. So they also go in the keep pile. Now, so we're getting towards like shoes that we're not sure of. Um, these are some wedge booties that I really, really like. You can see them right there. So those also going in the keep pile. Um, so this is where you get into the tricky territory. Here are some really nice BB 
super duper high heels. So sexy, so fun. So incredibly uncomfortable and impossible to walk in. But I don't think I'm ready to get rid of them. <laughs> ah, it's so hard. Some shoes, you know, you're just like, you're not able to. And then here is another pair. Really love these shoes and they're sort of memories to them and everything. They're not that comfortable, but they are in perfect shape. So it's like I can convince myself either way, you know? That's the hard part. When you've got perfectly good shoes that you can convince yourself either way. So over here, these are biking shoes. So these go in sort of the utilitarian category. One thing I could do is take the bottoms off and just save that piece and get rid of these biking shoes. I think, if nothing else, I probably will put them in the basement. They don't need to be in my upstairs closet at the moment since I'm not using pedal clips at this moment. Okay. These are shoes that I got at the flea market and I have never worn them. And even though they're fancy and they're new, I just feel like letting them go. So I'm going to let them go. They don't make me happy. Boom. Done. Um... These are my rain boots. They're rubber boots and I love them. And they get so many compliments. They're rain cowboy boots. Definitely keeping the rain cowboy boots. So now here are some other tall rubber boots that I got for working. It was, I got them when I was attending a conference. It was nice to have flat boots that I could walk around San Francisco in. However, they have been in a box for probably two years and I haven't been wearing them. So I can easily give these guys away. And these are my new snow boots. Really love them. Cheap. I got them in Park City, Utah. But um, definitely like them. And... Here we have three more pairs of boots. So I've been wearing these long boots a lot and I really like them. They're comfortable, they're sexy, they're fashionable. They're everything you want in a pair of boots. One thing I like is the heel, it's high, but then it's kind of wedge-like. And it's got that nice lace-up look in the back. Now these are some other over-the-knee boots. Very comfortable. I actually got them super cheap on Amazon. Haven't worn them in about two years. Boom, giveaway pile, not hard. Now this is a little bit harder. Here are cowboy boots. These were very expensive um, suede cowboy boots that I bought at Nordstrom before I knew how much they really can make you feel like you need to part with a lot of money. And uh, I mean, I say they were, a lot, they were expensive for me. Um, because I'm somebody who tends to buy shoes for crazy cheap, like $10. So, uh, I don't think I'm ready to let those go. So right now, this is slightly more shoes than I wanted to have. Um, like I said, these two pairs right here, the black and whites and the turquoises, I have not worn them in several years at this point. So, you know, having them is really just for decorative purposes. Oh, I forgot one other pair of shoes. Oh, I keep it. these hilarious, wonderful shoes in my office because I just love them. And they are so pretty. Look at them. And they're super high and crazy. So, am I ready to get rid of the BB shoes and the turquoise shoes? Um, you know, ambivalence is always tricky. Because you're like, should I, shouldn't I? But on the other hand, I just got rid of a good stack right there. And throwing away a good little stack right there. And I'm going to show you what I did. This is my shoe closet. And I went through and cleaned out all these shelves. They were dusty. They were gross. So I will have some nice, clean, new place to put my shoes when I decide which ones I keep. Are you strong enough to give away shoes that you no longer wear? Can you do it? They're so pretty. These are really nice. 
for somebody else to enjoy. I just had one idea, which is to take these shoes, which I am having trouble letting go, and put them together with these shoes in my office so they will get a place of honor in my office, which right now is a little bit messy. But it's kind of a neat idea when you think about it to kind of decorate with um, clothes in a way. Because I also have some really cute handbags and I don't know, part of my gigging is wearing fancy high heels. So I don't know, not bad. You know, I'll try it for a while and I'll force myself to let go of those other shoes that I don't need. So now I'm going to go through here. And so basically everything that remains, these are all wearable. So that's the thing is, you know, I love high heels and I'm good at wearing them, but they are still very painful. And depending on what I'm doing, you know, it, it just makes my job harder as a performer. So one thing I noticed about Katy Perry, she almost always wears character shoes. She doesn't wear high heels when she performs. It's pretty interesting. So, you know, she her costumes may be pretty sexy, but they are well constructed for somebody who is performing. Putting everything away. these guys more in a place of honor too and I just love wedges wedges are always so comfortable these wedges I can see they're kind of falling apart or not falling apart but they're definitely showing a little bit of, of wear again these are wedges and very very high but wearable very high and they were I think these cost me five dollars Crazy, right? Suede, cute shoes. So, uh, you know, I wear these very infrequently. And now that I have the high boots, I tend to wear those for business more. But, and I also have worn these for uh, conferences. So, for instance, if I was attending a conference, I couldn't wear these because it's still too uncomfortable. But for a meeting, a business meeting, I could. So, you know, eventually these could be on the list for replacement as well. Wear these all the time for gigs, and they're holding up pretty well. I wear these all the time for gigs. Super comfortable, good for the summertime, also good for gigs. There we have it. All my shoes are fitting in here. And then I will put uh, my snow boots are going to go in my closet next to my long boots, which I hang up on a rod. And then these are going to go on the front porch. And the slippers that I'm wearing are also going to go in the closet. So there you have it. I decluttered all my shoes and have come up with two bags to go to Goodwill and one bag to go to the trash. So I hope you get inspired to get rid of your shoes and I'm gonna do a whole series of these things as we close out the old year and for anybody also who's getting to this in the new year, it's a great time of year to let go of the old and you know, don't push yourself too hard but at the same time realize that the new stuff won't come in if you don't make room for it. So let new stuff come into your life by letting gold go of the old stuff. So let's get decluttering and happy new year. Hey, so I got a nice selection of things right after Christmas to take to Goodwill. And the important thing is once you get these things in bags, get it off to charity as soon as possible because otherwise it builds up on the front porch and before you know it, it's February. So let's do this. Let's get it off and into the hands of deserving people.